Hey everybody, thanks for being here. This week it's California halibut in the San Francisco Bay. Now if you want to learn how to catch more fish, stay tuned. I'm Justin Wolf and this is Angler West Television. Alright, so today guys we're going to do a little bit of uh, halibut fishing. We're going to head over to Fisherman's Wharf right now and try to go pick up some live bait. Try to get on this morning bite that's what it's been uh for the last couple of days a uh, morning snap and uh hopefully we'll you know get our quota of what we're looking for uh once the bite tape resolved that tide changes up start going back out we may switch over and throw on a little bit of the trolling gear and show a bit of the trolling techniques and uh that should pretty much wrap up our day like you know yeah, so we're pulling off into Fisherman's Wharf. I'm gonna pick up a little bit of ice right here first, but uh, we're gonna pick up some live anchovies. Uh, this is uh, J and P Bake, my buddy Eric and uh, Eric Sanquist and uh, Sean Hodges on this good little spot. We'll start off behind, uh, I guess you could say Ti, and start making our drift off into the Berkeley Flats or the Emeryville Flats, whichever one. We picked up some good fish there uh, yesterday, so hopefully it all work out today. How's the fishing been? Well, the fishing has been phenomenal. Actually, one of the best years possible. I mean, best years ever that we've had in a long, long time. Uh, it's been a while since we've seen a fishery like this, and I guess you could say uh, right now the fish has been climbing on like we've been having numbers, astronomical numbers, like triple digits. And we haven't seen that in a long time, so hopefully today we'll be able to do something really good. We're fishing on a big tide today, so I don't expect for it to be like it was a day when we have a smaller tide that's ideal for this fishery. But for what we got going on right now, I think we should do well. So how long should this fishery last? You know, it's middle of May. How long do you think this will go on for? Oh, uh, this is going to go on for the for all the way up until I guess you probably could say probably October, November. Oh wow! Yeah, we've we've had numbers of uh, fish like for for I guess you could say for the last four or five years we was having uh, years where we're catching like hundred hundred shaker years. Wow. Where those shakers now have became keepers. So that's the reason why now we've had we're having these huge numbers being caught. So basically what I'm trying to find is the bait. Like see this, this bait here on the bottom here. So when the halibut see that right there, they'll push up in here, you know, and try to ambush it. Of course, you know how they feed. Sit there on the bottom and look up. When they see all that feed down there like that, of course they want to, you know, take off on it. So we'll set up on something like this. I just need to see which way our drift is going to be. And uh, once we do that, then we can just decide which side is going to be our heavy side and what side is going to be our light side. So we use braided line on our heavy side because braided line goes straight down. And then we use the mono filament on uh, our light side because the mono always bows like once it goes down in the water, right? And uh, the way that we're drifting, it actually carries uh, the mono back. So as the mono is being dragged along from the backside, it's in the bow. Whereas the braid is going directly down right up underneath the boat like this. And then the mono is way back there, like, you know, so that's the whole purpose of that. And what we do is we use, uh, uh, like, we may use like some uh, eights on one side, on the heavy side, and then on the light side, we may use some fives or sixes or whatever you know and that's how we set it up and that also helps us to keep the lines from being tangled up while we're on the drift so we are fishing and uh we're in like 22 feet of water okay and uh we're drifting to our port side uh like uh towards the uh the barges here which is the uh, emeryville flats and uh We've been picking up fish uh, all over this whole little area right now. We got fish everywhere, to be honest with you. So hopefully we should start getting some bites sometime soon here. This tide should start pushing uh, pushing us in as the income comes in. So we'll see. Hey, Steve, I've, I've never done this live bait troll. I'm usually jigging 
12 to 20 ounce jigs okay. uh, for the halibut. So what's the procedure here? I mean, we're using live bait and just bounce off the bottom, but what do you do when they take it? I mean, you... So generally when they take it, instead of setting the hook, that's a no-no when it comes to these type of fish. You don't want to set the hook like you're bass fishing or anything like that. What we do is you see that bite, sometimes it's just like a, it'll be a thump or sometimes it'll be a little wiggle like this. So what you do is when you do see it, you grab it and you feed it some line. Just pull some line out. Okay. Count to about five, uh, you know, one, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand, four, one thousand, five, one thousand. Then lift up on it lightly. And when you see that bow in it, the, the rod will double over, start reeling slowly. The fish doesn't even realize that he's been hooked at all, you know, so once you bring him up, uh, just don't bring his head out of the water. Because if you bring his head out the water, he's going to go crazy, like, you know what I'm saying? He's going to hmm. start fighting and all that. And right now, it's like when he's, he's coming up, it's like he's sort of mesmerized. He don't even realize it, so we can get him in a net that easy. But uh, for the most part, just make sure that you just don't set the hook. People sometimes get out here, especially bass fishermen. <laughs> they have it bad when it comes, you know, to setting the hook. They just think that's a natural instinct. But when it comes to like catching these, all you got to do is just take your time, feed it a little bit. Once you feed it a little bit and uh, he got it in his mouth, he tries to swallow it, just start really slowly. That's it. Got it straight to it. All right, there you go. Pull off the line, baby. There you go. Welcome back to the San Francisco Bay. I'm Justin Wolf. We're with Captain Steve Mitchell and the California halibut are starting to climb aboard. All right. That'll work. Let me mark the spot real quick. Woohoo! That's that's right in the range with the on the small slot limit for Canada. They've got they changed the regs this year, so you can get a large one, a large slot, and one, and you know the eight. Uh, 14 pound range, so that's right in line. 24. The size limit here is 22 inches to have a keeper. If it's below 22 inches, we're gonna let them go. Anything below, above 22 inches, of course, we're gonna keep. Um, we do release, yesterday we released maybe 50 plus shakers and 14 keepers. Live for the camera, he's chomping too. Look at that mouth, look, look. There's some teeth in there. Do not ever put your hands in that mouth. He will have you leaking. Oh yeah. This is just average size for right now, this time of the year, being that the halibut is just now starting to really start to snap. But as it progresses uh, later on into this month, as well as into next month, uh, we start climbing into a lot, a lot bigger sizes, you know. Uh, they're showing. Nice Yeah, because you know, I'm a bass girl. <laughs> <laughs> you know, while we're out here halibut fishing, we also get the stripers as well. And it's about that time for them to really show up. So we've been getting them in good numbers. Like I said yesterday, we had limits of halibut as well as limits of stripers. Yeah, we're a slack tide, but it's starting to uh, give us a beginning push of the flood. So once that tide just starts to take off a little bit, those fish are gonna become a little bit more active, a lot more active actually, and they'll start climbing on from that point on, you know, so we're looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to like getting down towards the middle of that pier where as you can see where it's all broken up and then where, where that pier starts back up, that's where it'll be good at. That's where a lot of fish were, was holding uh, yesterday, so we'll see. And what are these fish eating right now? Uh, they're eating these uh, anchovies right oh, now. Right yeah, the bay's got a lot of them up in there right now, so. The feed, wherever the feed is, that's where the fish are. So that's how we locate the fish, being that you don't see these on the meter. We just look for the feed, we find the feed, find the fish. There you go. So the bite's a little slow, so I'm gonna stick this uh, live bait with a little bit of butt juice oil. So he's not gonna like it much, but. Uh -huh. I'm just put a thin bead on the outside of it. 
Yeah, when you inject them like this, it will kill them, but they'll still last a few minutes wiggling pretty good. At least they're putting out a good scent trail. There you go, Steve. The butt it's juice, old, yeah. baby. The butt <laughs> juice. Oh, yeah, that is right. Yeah. Hey, that's off the butt mm. juice. So it definitely works. <laughs> Procure in the house, you guys. It seems like a better fish. Probably is. Here you go. Net, baby. Net. A lot better than the other one. Mm -hmm. Sounds like a halibut. Yeah, the way he's, the way he's shaking. Yeah. Short strength. See me with my rod? Just pull him straight to the neck, but keep his head in the water. There you go. Pull off a little line, baby. Nice one. Nice one. That's a keeper. Now, now he woke up. That's what the little sentence come with you, and then once yeah. you get him on the surface, now he's like going crazy. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> I heard that. Yeah. Good fish. Hold up. Good fish. Good fish. Oh, real, good fish. Good fish. Good fish. Good fish. Hey, lock him in. Lock him in. Lock him in. Don't let him jump out. There you go. I hate it when that happens. So sometimes when you're fishing for halibut, uh, you want to use somewhere in the smaller mid-sized range uh, live bait anchovies. Uh, sometimes there's a pattern, um, so I was fishing this morning with mostly larger baits and the first drop I uh, put down a smaller bait and uh, within five minutes I got my first fish, so just got to play some trial and error and see where it goes. This year the halibut fishing in the San Francisco Bay has been fantastic with limits possible as long as you're getting plenty of bites. This right here is uh, what it looks like when the bait ends up uh, getting bit. And we call this a scratch bait, right? And uh, basically what happens is the fish ends up picking up on it and then without a stinger on the back, he'll let it go. So that's why you notice some of the leaders that we have have a stinger on them, some of them don't. And when they don't, this is the result of it, right? You can see how it got bit, but at the, at the same time the fish let go. For our setup here with our uh, leader that we're using, uh, we're using some P-Line C21, and this is a 25-pound test. For our main line here, we're using like 40-pound test high-vis P-Line mono, and uh, we use this on our light side because this side also is the side that we drift away from. And uh, like I said, we was using the 40-pound test braid right here, but that's on the heavy side, and this would be on the light side. Yeah, it feels a little, it feels like there's more weight to it. Okay. Thank you very much. Fish number two, looking for one more. So... That's a halibut straight up and down. I need the net. That Beckman net. Oh yeah, baby. Nice. Nice. That's a nice one right there. Good one. Good one. Let me mark the spot, Clint. Yeah, baby. Good action there. Dipped up nice and slow when you come. Might be a bass. Might be a Halibut bass. Halibut keeper. Halibut. Oh, nice. Oh, baby, pull out some line, pull out some line, pull out some line. There you go. Nice halibut, baby. Oh, we got to break out the be cool stick, guys. <laughs> the be cool stick. <laughs> yeah, to calm them down. That'll work. Nice halibut. Got another one. Got a double. Oh, 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 oh. Let's get this out the way here. Okay. Got a double. You got it? Oh yeah, double. Got a double. Both of them. I've got a uh, halibut. You got another halibut. It's off that Procure. Procure butt juice, guys. You guys better get up on it. Let's see. What you think? What you think? Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. 
Nothing like you. I know. Wow. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. We're going to measure them out. Be sure. No, I think he's a little short. He's a little short. There we go. Yeah, you were. That was a double hookup on some fish. We were on some uh, school of halibut. And usually when there's one, there's a few more with it. Twenty. Look at this joker. This joker wants to chomp. Yeah, I think he's a little short here. But he'll grow up to be a good one one day. This will be, we'll be catching him next year or so. So we'll release him. On the drop. Huh? On the drop. Yeah, on the drop. All right, so uh, now we're, uh, we're tying up a few leaders right now. We're getting ready for this uh, ebb tide right now. And uh, we're expecting for another good bite to happen. And, uh, so right now we're like, like we say, those fish right there is pretty much quality like type fish that we're looking for. And on that ebb tide, I'm expecting to see a whole lot more of that happening. And then this time we're gonna try a different technique. We're gonna do a little bit of trolling this time. And uh, throw out some uh, fish flash by Yakima and see how that works out, which we know it will work out. Welcome back to the San Francisco Bay. I'm Justin Wolf. We're working on limits of California halibut with Captain Steve Mitchell of Hooked Up Sport Fishing. Live bait has been effective, but now as the tide turns, we'll look to the intense flash of Yakima Bait Fish Flash to finish up our limits on the troll. Now we're gonna try a little, a little something different. Uh, we're gonna try uh, some trolling, and uh, we're gonna try, uh, this is a, uh, Anger West Yakima Fish Flash Signature Series. And uh, we're gonna try this one right now and put a dropper on and put some tray bait on. And uh, matter of fact, would you hand me one of those? Thank you. We're gonna try some tray bait. Pump it up as you can see how we hook it up here. Same way, come through the bottom jaw and out through the nose, of course. And let me slide that hook up a little bit. Like that, like so. And then we just take the, uh, the stinger hook. Sometimes we let it dangle like that. No, no need to hook it up. And then sometimes we just do it like this. We'll hook it up in the back. like so all right so this is how it basically looks when it's being when it's being presented to the fish out there so then we like to take some of this procure butt juice here and uh, we inject it in the fish So it's coming out a little bit like so. Put a little scent on there on both sides. And then there you have it. So we just put on the flashers. We're trolling less than a minute and a half and we've got two on. Down, keep your head down. Slow us down, Steve. All right. Neutral. This is neutral. Pull up. Pull up. Point pull up. the rod. Point the rod. Fish right. the rod. I got my limit. Get it. We're trolling right now. We just put a nice fat one in here trolling. Okay, we switched over to trolling and we're using the Yakima 4 inch fish flash for the trade bait herring loaded up with butt juice. And we doubled up within two minutes of fishing. Yep. Yep. Yep, 
So we're on the troll and these fish flash are definitely luring the fish in for sure. Some rods are getting bit uh, without the flash on them and some are getting them with the uh, flash on it. But either way it go, it's really happening right now and uh, maybe this is what we should have did a little bit earlier too. Just jumped on a troll and covered more ground and mopped them up because uh, we're not even making it a good 20 yards before the next hookup every time. So. I think we're getting close to a limit. Hook up on a big fish flash, guys! <laughs> <laughs> I bet you that's him. Let's see. Let's see. I got a good feeling about it. Oh, that's a bigger weight, too. That's him. No. Is that him? Is that him? Yep, we're done. Is that him? Limits, baby. Limits, baby! <laughs> That's it, baby. Limits, baby. Limits. Let me get that high five from you. <laughs> hey, what a way to wrap it up with the fish flash doing his thing out there, guys. Yakima in the house, baby. This is what I'm talking about. Limits for the boat. And you know, this, this one right here had to bring us home, right? This one sealed the deal, baby. It's it. It's a wrap. Right. Limit, baby. Limit, baby. Hey, thanks for watching today's episode. You know, without the support of the sponsors, there would be no show. So please thank them when you can. Now, get out there and do some great fishing.